Hey, New Life Church, my name is Sam. Uh, I'm one of the pastors here at the Fort Smith campus, and I just wanna say thank you for taking the time to watch this video and invest in yourself and in your family as we begin this discussion and we kinda dig into what it looks like to lead our families intentionally. Uh, in last video, if you didn't watch it, uh, we talked about how God had prepared the Israelites for a new season of their lives uh, as they went into the promised land. And he said, I want you to start with the most important things first. And he said, love the Lord your God. It starts with a personal relationship if we're going to lead our families well, no matter what season we're going into. But he didn't just end there. He tells us in Deuteronomy 6 that we are going to love God, but we're also called to take that and bring it to our families. And he says this in verse 7. He says, These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. And this is where we're really going to focus. It says, Impress them on your children. I love that simple uh, that simple command he gives to impress them on our children. Here's something that uh, kind of hit me out of nowhere as I was driving with my brother, or actually I was riding with my brother uh, about six months ago. We're in the car, we're on the interstate, and I see him put cruise control on, and I noticed that he put it on seven miles over the speed limit, right? I don't know what your personal convictions are on that, but my brother set it on seven miles per hour over the speed limit, and I just kind of giggled because that's what I set my speed on when I'm driving. And I asked him, I was like, hey, why do you set it on seven? And he said something funny. He's like, well, I don't really know. Like, I, I guess, and then he just thought through it. He's like, oh, I guess it's because dad always said, like, I've, I've been driving 40 some years and I've never got pulled over doing seven over. So I guess I just kind of that's what I said it on it. And I realized that we started asking my brothers and my sisters, there's eight kids. We all set our crews on seven miles an hour over the speed limit. That was a little tiny thing that my dad impressed on us as a kid. And the truth of the matter is when you begin to parent, you start realizing that most of what you do just kind of by reaction was something that we were impressed on from our parents. We kind of borrowed these things without realizing how we eat, how we get our kids to eat, how we talk to our kids. Uh, the things that we do are often just something that was built into us from our parents. And here's the thing that I want to challenge myself with and you with is that we, we don't choose if we impress things on our children. It's gonna happen automatically, but we can choose what we impress on our children. This biblical mandate from God, this challenge to us is this impress these things on your children. And I wish I could give you like a how-to guide or a 10-step process of how to impress things on your kids in the best way, but I think what I got from this and the Holy Spirit really just convicted my heart of as I was studying this passage was this. What are you most impressed by? Right? The, the challenge is to impress things on our kids, but the challenge for us is to question what are we most impressed by? Because here's the truth of the matter. When what we're most impressed by is what we're going to most impress on our kids. If it's grades, right? If, if you're just really impressed by the grades that your kids are getting or the achievements that they have or the sports that they're in or the accomplishments or the personality that they have, then, then that's going to be what we impress on. Or even in our personal lives, if our career or if our status, if the things that we have, if that's what we're most impressed by, then we'll naturally find that we impress those on our kids because it's going to dominate what we talk about and how we prioritize our lives. And so my encouragement, but also the, the question I'm asking myself is, what am I most impressed by? And here's what I want to challenge you with. Think about the things that are going to last long after 
you as a parent? What are the things that are going to last in your kids and in your grandkids? And what do you want those things to be? For uh, my dad, I think one of the things as we reflected on his life is he loved, uh, he loved Jesus. So his faith was huge. And you see that passed down to us as kids across the eight kids. Uh, faith is a huge part of our lives. Family, he always was kind of building everything around, gathering his family close. He loved my mom and he loved us kids. And we see that in our lives as, as his kids. And the last thing is he loved fishing, right? He loved like life the most when he had a pole in his hand, but he also loved fishing for men. He loved, had a passion to see men around him get to know Jesus because Jesus changed his life. So those were the things that were most central in what I love is those impressed him the most and they were the most impressed on me as a kid. So my question to you is this, is what are you most impressed by?